one of you two teammates here. Here's my review for the new Wrong Turn film. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I love the Wrong Turn, except for part six. Part six is the worst out of them. But I really do quite like the first five Wrong Turn films. They are really fun, entertaining. And so I was actually interested to check out another Wrong Turn flick. I, I, I could watch, you know, tons of them and usually never get bored of them. Anyway, and it turns out that those killers from the original Wrong Chair films, uh, you know, the uh, brothers from the original Wrong Chair films, sad to say, they are not in this. Which is disappointing, because, you know, um, doing a Wrong Chair films without those characters would be like, let's say, doing a Hatchet movie without Victor Crowley, or a Friday the 13th film without Jason, or a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street without, uh, without Freddy Krueger. It's hard, it can't usually be done. But anyway, uh, now the film is directed by uh, Mike P. Nelson, who directed the movie uh, The Domestics, which I actually just saw, it. that was okay. Uh, anyway, and so you got this uh, character named Jen. Whew, sorry for that. Anyway, you got this character named uh, Jen, uh, played by Charlotte Vega, who I thought did okay here. Who ends up going uh, to you know um, this this applicant trail uh, with a group of friends, uh, and despite warning uh, to stick to the trails, the hikers, like most film horror films, they become dumb and uh, they decide to uh, you know um, stick to the trail anyway because they're dumb. They're really dumb, and I mean they are completely dumb. And there, of course, the. Um, and there is the, uh, you know, um, they end up crossing uh, into the uh, land inhabited by the Foundation, who are a hidden community of mountain dwellers who uh, use deadly uh, means to protect their ways of life. Uh, and so, like, Jen and her friends, uh, you know, seems to be heading um, to a point of uh, no return, and they end up getting uh, kidnapped by, like, kidnapped and tortured um, and killed one by one by these Foundations. Uh, and... Jen's father, played by Matthew Modine, you know, is also trying to, uh, is also trying to, uh, find her, uh, door, is trying to find his door in her. Anyway, uh, yeah, this movie is just not so good. I was so, like, it ends up blending a political commentary and all, um, and sad to say the kills is not as good as the kills from the, uh, other Wrong Track films. There are some, you know, interesting creative kills. Like, there is a kill that happens in... Like, one of the earliest, uh... First kills in the film is actually... Well, um... Well done. But... The kills are definitely not great. I mean, this time around, we don't really have no cannibal mutant hillbillies. Which I think... Is disappointing. Because I, I like those cannibal hillbillies. They're literally super fun killers. Uh... I mean, I did not really like these uh, villains at all. You know, uh... The characters wasn't likable. I did not like the characters in one bit. Uh, one of the actresses is uh, Emma Dumont, who you might know from uh, that X-Men series, The Gifted. Uh, she didn't have a whole lot to do with this. Matthew Modine, poor Matthew Modine, he had to say yes or something like this, is disappointing. I love Matthew Modine, come on, Stranger Things. Uh, he was also, um, remember him in Full Metal Jacket? Who doesn't love Matthew Modine? He, he is a man. But, uh, yeah... The, sto the script wasn't so great. It's a shame, too, because the uh, screenwriter is the same guy who give, who uh, did the script for the original Wrong Turn, and I love the original Wrong Turn. Uh, the act is a bit, like, the um, ending really didn't make sense. I mean, this movie is just... I wasn't really a fan of it at all. I mean, I wanted to like it because, you know, I like the Wrong Turn films. Uh, and, I don't know, maybe if I, like... If I had saw this thing in theirs, I probably would have had more fun to watch it in theirs. But, uh, sad to say, I don't think um, it would have made any more difference around the end. And I just didn't really get much out of it. I even found it pretty boring. This is probably, you know, the first boring, um, out of the Wrong Turn films. And the Wrong Turn movies, like, even, um, like, even the not so great ones are not as boring as this one. And this thing was boring. I mean,. I was literally waiting for this thing to end, uh, but, yeah. So, I say, it's, to me, it's definitely the worst out of the Wrong Turn films. And I've seen Wrong Turn sex. So, that's, that's ain't much, you know? 
But I'm not gonna lie, I'll be down to see another wrong turn film, especially mostly with those uh hill like those uh cannibal hillbillies. I mean bring those guys back any day, I'll definitely Sorry for that. I'll definitely watch another wrong turn films if you especially bring those uh cannibal hillbillies back, you know. Because you can't have a wrong turn movies without them. I mean, this definitely shows that. I, I, but I guess they were trying to, like, do something totally different, or, but, uh, I don't know, you could have maybe named it something else, at least, but, uh, anyway, let me leave it to you guys. Did you, uh, ever have a chance to check out uh, the new Wrong Turn? If so, what's the other? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you even a fan of the Wrong Turn franchise? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timmy Sign up.